You're watching American Wire. This woman's story completely ends the gun control debate. You have to check this out. I didn't grow up in a house with guns. I don't hunt. I personally abhor hunting. But I was given a gun by a friend when I was 21 to carry in my purse for self-defense, and I was taught how to use it. A couple of years ago, my parents and I went to a cafeteria in Texas on a bright, sunny day. We weren't in a dark alley where we weren't supposed to be. And as you all know the story, this madman drove his truck through the window, and he began shooting. Well, immediately, my father and I got down on the floor and put the table up in front of us. And this guy kept shooting. And you're thinking, what, you know, what could it be? Is it, is it a robbery? That's the first thing that generally comes to mind. And he keeps shooting. It took me a good 45 seconds to realize that this man wasn't there to commit a robbery. He wasn't there for a hit. He was there to simply shoot as many people as he possibly could. When I finally realized what was occurring, I thought, I got him. And I reached for my purse. He was maybe 12 feet away. You know, is it possible my gun could have jammed? Sure. Is it possible I could have missed? Sure. But I can tell you I've hit much smaller targets at much greater distances. But then I realized that a couple of months earlier, I had made the stupidest decision of my life. I took my gun out of my purse and left it in my car. Because, as you well know, in the state of Texas, it's sometimes a felony offense to carry a gun in your purse. I can tell you that I'm not mad at the guy that did this. As he continued, it was obvious that he was a madman. My father, at that point, said, I'm gonna, I, I've got to do something. I've got to do something. He's going to kill everybody in here. And he rushed the man. No way guy turned, shot him in the chest. He went down, uh, was obviously mortally wounded. For whatever reason, that made the man change directions and go off to my left. Shortly thereafter, someone at the back of the restaurant broke out a window. When I saw what looked like an opportunity to escape, I turned around and I grabbed my mother by the shirt and I said, come on, come on, we've got to run, we've got to get out of here. And then my feet grew wings and I was out the back window. As soon as I got out, I realized that my mother had not followed me out. And as I learned from the police officers, she had crawled over to where my father was and cradled him until the guy got back around to her, put the gun to her head. She looked up at him, put her head down, and he pulled the trigger. My parents had just had their 47th wedding anniversary. She wasn't going anywhere. As I mentioned, I'm not really mad at the guy that did this. And I'm certainly not mad at the guns that did this. They didn't walk in there by themselves and pull their own triggers. The guy that did it was a, a, a lunatic. That's like being mad at a, a rabid dog. I'm mad at my legislators for legislating me out of the right to protect myself and my family. I would much rather be sitting in jail with a felony offense on my head and have my parents alive. Wow, this woman, what strength, what courage that she has after everything she was she has been through that she shared with us especially hearing how her parents were shot and killed i don't know how she sat and told her story so she was clear she was i i don't think i could have done that at all her story is the the proof of why American people should be able to keep the right to own a gun to protect themselves. As she said in that room, although I don't know if I would have, I understood her point when she said that she didn't, she didn't, she wasn't mad at the person who was shooting. I think the reason why she said that was because he was a lunatic. He needed mental health. And the ongoing problem with, with our government today is they just want to take our weapons away, but they don't want to deal with the mental health issues that are out there that are those people finding guns and, sh and shooting up people. You know, why is that? Her point was so spot on that it's, it wasn't his fault. He needed help that was not given to him. It wasn't 
it wasn't the gun he was using fault because he was able to get it. Like if you're, if you're someone who is going to want a gun, you're going to find a way to get a gun. But man, her story was just exact proof as to why you should, we should have the right to carry a gun. And for her to reach in her purse and then remember that she had to keep it in the car because of the laws in Texas, that must have just, that must have just freaked her out. Again, putting myself in her shoes. I, she, she is such a hero. She is such a hero for telling her story. Unfortunately, fast forward to today, nothing's really changed.